First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Mahan Sim, Yahweh Shai, Mahan Shem Rakakwidash, the wildness to the apostles and elders and great millstone who rule well and whom I'm constantly learning this truth from. This is for you, not for that, which I used to call Negros, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Also, you speckled birds that scatter across the four corners of the earth that's me going to the other heathen nations that may look like the other heathen nations. This word resonates with you and your lineage go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, then you are the true Hebrew Israelites in which the Bible speaks of, okay? Job 9, 24. Earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? You know who he is. You know, everybody knows who's ruling right now. You know, that's who's ruling. Edomites, which is just so-called white man. Right? They have an army. You don't have an army. You know, their faces on that dollar bill, yours not. You know, you got to go for them in one of all things. Now, these other countries also, but they then became, you know, wise to their ways and, you know, the people, you know. So let's move on. Uh, We're going to go to the book of Psalms right now. This is the book of Psalms. 64. <clears throat> We're going to start the second verse. And it reads, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, <clears throat> who wet their tongues like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. All right? But <clears throat> he saw you. You know, did they land up all these snares and traps for, for Jake? You know, even for their own people. But mainly, this is for Jake, the, the, the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom. You know, because they want to let loose of this uh, uh, rule that they have, this kingdom. Because it's their kingdom because it was given given to them, you know, by your house, by some of your house. So their time is up, you know. Their time is up, all right? Verse 3, who wet their tongue like a sword and wet their bowls to shoot their arrows. Even bitter words, now all the lies and deceitfulness. Verse four, that they shoot in secret and at the perfect. Suddenly, do they shoot at him? Fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privately. They say, "Who shall see them?" They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them, and the heart is deep. You know, their heart is deep. They they, they 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 know this word. They know the Bible. They got some knowledge of it, but they know that, and they also know that their kingdom is is out of here. That's why they're going like their way, their way to <clears throat> try to destroy this place and us with it. You know, they got just look at the news. You might not find some things on the news, but you find you go to alternative news. You can see what's going on. You can even look out the window and see what's going on. You know, all right. Now let's go to uh, Isaiah tw uh, 26. Book Isaiah. We're going to go to the 26th uh, chapter. And the 10th verse. And it reads, Let favor be shown to the wicked, yet... Will he not learn righteousness in the land of uprightness, which he deal unjustly? It will not. Behold the majesty of the Lord Yahweh. Now, you see, Lord is in all caps. And that's the name of the Heavenly Father, the Father of all spirits he created. All right? He created all the spirits. <clears throat> you know, Yahweh. And again, all caps, you see that Lord in all caps is talking about the Heavenly Father, the Father of the Spirits. He created all the spirits. <clears throat> and does that mean he exists? He is. He the beast. Okay? And his only begotten son's name is Yahweh Shai, which means he the deliverer. He saves. Okay? <clears throat> 
His name's not Christ. Heavenly Father's Son's name is not Christ. No. His name is Yahweh. Christ is, you know, Hamashiach, you know, the anointed. No. <clears throat> okay. Now, uh, with that, again, Isaiah 26 and 10, let favor be shown to the wicked. Yet will he not learn, of, uh, he will not learn righteousness in the land of uprightness. Will he deal unjustly? And will not behold the majesty of the Lord Yahweh. Okay. So he's, you know, he can't learn righteousness because he wasn't built for it. No, he wasn't built for it. He wasn't created for righteousness. He was created to be judge, you know, the son of perdition, to be destroyed. He has a purpose, and he knows that. Now he's trying to step from from behind his purpose, and you can't do that. Not you, you know, Yahweh, by some Yahweh side, every everyone is in their lot. Okay. Now let's go to uh, Malachi 1 and 4. It's the book of Malachi. And we're going to read uh, the fourth verse. And it reads, Whereas Edom said, Edom, the so-called white man, the rich and elite banker families. You know, the rest of you know these these little <laughs> Edomites, so-called white man, that these this, this they don't run nothing. It's just it's the rich in elite banking families, you know, and they don't care about their own people, their own nations. So they don't even care about you. I mean, you know, think about it. So why do you, Jake? Why do you keep hanging on to their coattails, you know? Because you, you, you're going to be destroyed with them. You got to, you got to, man, you're just going to be destroyed with them, Jake. So you come to the, come to the world, the truth, live it, walk it, speak it, teach it. You know, because this, this, we at the end, you know. Whereas Edom said, we are in promise. But we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, of hosts. They shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh, have a nickname forever. Okay? And nickname is hatred. You know? Okay, I'm going to bring that up. You know, let's see what that, indic that word indignation means. All right? Strong's age 2194. Zaam. Zaam. To denounce, express indignation, be in, in, indignant. To have indignation, be indignant, to be angrily indignant, be defiant, be abhorrent, to express indignation in speech, denounce, curse, to show indignation, to show anger. All right? That's what the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh, shall have against he have have against Esau Edom, the so-called white man. Okay. Now let's go to uh, Romans nine eleven, the book of Romans nine eleven. All right. This is the book of Romans nine chapter eleven verse, and it reads, "For the children being not yet born." neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh, side, according to a lesson, might stand, not of works, but of him that call it. Okay? It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau, Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? 
is there unrighteousness with the Heavenly Father Yahweh? Paul forbid, God forbid. You know? So he, 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 he sets up who he wants to set, set up. You know? He set up kingdoms, take down kingdoms. He set up who he wants to set up. And this is even written. You know? It's like everybody has a purpose, every nation has a purpose. You know? Verse 16. So then it is not of him that will it, nor of him that run it, but of the most high Yahweh by some Yahweh side that show it mercy. You know, just for the scripture said it's a fail, even for the same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Therefore have he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will harden it. You know, so he's doing the same thing. As he hard fell, it was hard, but Moses, you know, pleaded, you know, on behalf of Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, he hardened his heart. You know, just like he's doing to Esau, Edom today. You know? Just like he's doing today. Second Ezra's. Six of fifty-six, <clears throat> and this is how he feels about the other nations. So when they get to talking that that BS, you know, everyone is accepted, you know. And it doesn't matter, you know. You could be an Israelite and may not look like a, 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 a who they, you know, they think that, you know, even our own, some of our own, you know, a, a, a nation think that. Uh, Israelites look like John Shaft, but that's not the case. You might you got Israelites that may look like uh, uh, Edomites. You got Israelites that may look that, that may not be Israelites that may be Edomites. You know, but it's all in the spirit. You know. All right. Now let's um, check Ezra six and fifty six. As for the other people, which also come from. Come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, but be likened to spittle, and hast likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. And now, O Lord Yahweh, but hast from Yahweh, I behold, these heathen, which have ever been reputed as nothing, have begun to be lords over us and to devour us. But we, thy people, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, and thy fervent lover, I give it into their hands. If the world not be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? It's almost over. We was put in a state, you know, through Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, because I, because we went off and also to learn good, we already you know good to, and evil. So you got to be a, a a righteous judge. You got to know both spectrums, you know. You got to know both spectrums, okay. And that's why we study in this word. That's why we learning, and then you are learning as you go, you know, through the scriptures. You can see what's going on through these scriptures, all right. And, and, and these scriptures, you know, you you just going all out through the web. It's it is it's it's no excuse for anybody not to know what's going on. It's no excuse for anybody not to turn to this this you know uh, uh, Hebrew Israelite, you know, from the northern southern kingdom. It's no excuse, you know, not to know what's going on. It's no excuse not to. Well, I didn't know, you know, because you're getting it. Every day you getting it, all right? There's no excuses. Psalms 19. Psalms 19 and we we'll start at 1. To the chief musician of Psalm of David, 
The heavens declare the glory of the heavenly Father Yahweh, by some Yahweh side, and the firmament showed his, his handiwork. You know? Day unto day utter speech, and night unto night short knowledge. There is no speech or language where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone is, is gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun. Now that's those satellites, you know. Those radio signals bouncing out those satellites, the internet, you know. And it's hitting these receivers down here, you know. Hence, you have YouTube and all those other uh, uh, social medias. You got every, you know, everything, uh, all, all kinds of uh, information that's coming through the uh, satellites. Going up into space, and it's going across, and it's bouncing back down across the uh, four corners of the uh, world. Everybody's hearing it. It could change languages, you know. By, by subtitles, so everybody is getting this. So it's no excuse, you know. There won't be no excuses. In the day of the Lord will come. There ain't gonna be no excuses. There's no speech, no language, where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. And them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is a bridegroom coming out of the chamber and rejoices as a strong man to run. A race, you go when you hear, you know, if you're the elect, you gotta uh, run to, you gotta ask those questions. You're gonna seek out the word more and more. Okay, verse six, he go forth. His going forth is from the end of the heaven, and his circuit unto the ends of it, and there is nothing here from the heat thereof. You know, so yeah, yeah, how about some yeah, how about he created the internet, not for you to go on the internet to do all that wicked stuff, but to get this information, learn information, you know, because the work has been done by the other apostle great millstone, you know, and, and, and you know, and uh, through their teachers, you know, and they done all the work. Now we get the work, and it's a simple thing for us because all you got to do is pick, pull your phone, get your phone, get your laptop, or whatever, and you can pull all this information up. But again, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh has to be dealing with you. You know? Verse 7, the law of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is sure, making wise the simple. You know? So, there ain't going to be no excuse. You know? And through all of this, you see who the enemy are, is, you know? That shit, they're telling on each other through this internet that Yahweh buys from Yahweh's I set up through them. Just like he made the Smiths through them. They created these nukes, these ICB, IBCLs. Also, it's going to be to their destruction. It's like this internet. That's why they're hurrying up doing what they got to do. You know? Because they know what time it is. You know? You got famine in the world that's going to be coming. Because all this information is going out. It's going out against them from them, their own, you know, from their own people. Their own, their own tongues is falling on them, all right? No, Psalm 64. The Psalm 64 and uh going to start at 8. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. And all men shall fear it, and shall declare the work of the Heavenly Father Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh. For they shall wisely consider of his doings. You know, and the righteous shall be glad in the Lord Yahweh. And shall trust in him. And all the upright in heart shall glory. You know, and they, they're doing that, you know. Do your heart by some house up but do the internet and just you know and they're following they're following your heart by some house. They're following the, the teachers, the doctrine, the correct doctrine. You no, know, of course there's some that's not, 
You know, but they were set up like that, you know. You know, because the deceiver, and the, the, the deceiver, the deceiver right here is, you know, roughly paraphrasing it, you know. And it's meant, you know, uh, uh, to try away the bad from the good, you know, bad from the, you know, from, from the good. All right. Okay, let's go to Mark. The book of Mark. That would be third chapter. I'm gonna go to the twenty-fourth verse. And it read because you know, you know, because that tongue is falling amongst you know upon themselves. They're telling on each other, you know. And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. Verse 26, and if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand, but hath an end. Yeah, and his end has come, you know. How can, how, you know, a house can't, it's impossible for a house to stand if they're divided. They're going on each other's throat. Look at these nations coming at them. Look at Russia coming at them. You know, they fighting against each other, you know. You know World War Three is, you know, wars and rumors of war. Go to uh uh second Ezra six, that's what we we going through now, you know. And then it's only gonna get worse. All right? But you gotta be geared up for it, you gotta be ready for it, spiritually. All right. Because you know this 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 devil is mad. He saw Edom, rich and deep banking families, and even the my even the, their little minions, they're mad, they're angry. All right, Revelation twelve and twelve. You know so. Revelation twelve and twelve. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. You know. Richard and Lee Bacon found they, they, they need to be enjoying this, you know, because their time is short. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, you know. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time, you know. And that's why he knows he has but a short time, because he studied this, the scriptures, He's been studying for years. He got experts, you know. He knows what what's happening, but it's it's Jake that don't know, cause Jake's still stuck in this this quagmire, of, you know, dung. You know, I'm gonna say it like that. You know, he's still stepping in this in the shit. You know, he walking it and don't don't matter to him. You know, because he wants to hold on to to something in this. This raggedy kingdom, which was given into the hands of the Edomites, you know, the rich and the banging found the wicked. Nothing here. It, you see, it's being destroyed. Potholes, sinkholes, <laughs> fires, wars, earthquakes. You see everything happening, but you want to be here. You want to still be here. Okay, you're going to be here when, when the ICBMs hit, you know, when that judgment fully come into effect. All right. All right. Let's go to Amos. Amos. Look at Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, said the Lord Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but are hearing the words of the Lord Yahweh. Okay? And you're cutting off this internet, they're gonna be you no know, or they're gonna be what they're gonna be do, doing, they're gonna be they're gonna just take away uh your access to it, you know. You ain't gonna be able to go to the channels no more, they're gonna be isolating people on the internet, you know. Whatever they're gonna do, you're not gonna be getting this word no more. All right? So you better get it now. You know, get it while it's hot. All right. 
You know, get it while it's hot. Proverbs 4. Proverbs 4 and 5. Get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. That's wisdom, you know. That's that wisdom. You know, we we, we think of wisdom as a, as a woman, you know. We treasure wisdom, you know. We make sure, you know, we make sure that we give wisdom some attention, you know, give our woman some attention. That's wisdom. Wisdom is a principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. You know, assault her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor. But thou dost embrace her, you know, embrace her. She shall give to thy head an ornament of grace, a crown of glory. She shall deliver to thee. You know? So wisdom is, you know, you got to, you know, pray for, fast for, but it won't, it won't be, it won't dwell in on malicious, uh, so let me see if I can find that. Okay, uh, let's go to the Proverbs 8, uh, 4 and 18. But the path of the justice has the shining light that shine up more and more into the perfect day. The way of the wicked is as darkness. They know not at what they stumble. My son, attend to my words, incline thy ear into my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. For they are life unto those that find them, and help to all their flesh. Keep thy heart with all diligence. Your heart is your mind, for all of it is the issues of life. Put away from thee a forward mouth and perverse lips. Put far from thee. Let thy, thine eyes look right on, and let thine eyelids look straight before thee. Ponder the, ponder the path of thy feet, and let all thy ways be established. Turn not to the right hand nor to the left. Remove thy foot from evil. Okay. You gotta stay away from that evil. Stop doing don't do no evil things, you know. You know, wicked and evil things, because that wisdom is wisdom is not gonna dwell in you. And that's the cockle, that's the Holy the Holy Spirit, you know. The Hawashai ain't gonna dwell with you. All right, now let's go to uh, Psalms 2 Timothy 2 and 13. In the reeds. Study to show thyself approved unto Jehovah Bashi and Hawassah, a workman that needed not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Okay? So you got to study, you know? You got to study. Study, study, study. Yeah, you got to have a balance, but study, study, study. You know? It's a constant thing. You know? Because there's too much going on for you not to know what's going on through these scriptures. You know? And that's going to be the only thing that's going to get, you know, that's going to protect you. You know, in, in your mind, when th when these things start getting hot, you know, very hot, when they, you know everything start going kinetic, you know. So uh, you have to be spiritually prepared. You know, let's go to the Book of James. And that would be. Uh, well, we're going to go down to uh, verse 22. Well, let's start at uh, James 1 and 19. Wherefore, my beloved brother, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness 
of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Verse 21. Before lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your souls. Verse 22. Be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in the glass. For he beholdeth himself, and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. You know? So, you know, you just... Not if you're not gonna be a doer of the words, it's never made no sense in you getting into this, you know. Because you're gonna forget. You're gonna forget. You know. You're gonna forget what you learned. You're gonna go back into the world, you're gonna be jacked up. Straight up, you're gonna be done and become reprobate. But whoso, verse 25, but whoso looking into the perfect law of liberty and continue therein. He being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. Okay? If any man among you seem to be religious and, and bridle it not his tongue, but deceive it his own heart, this man's religion is vain. Okay? Pure religion undefiled before the only father, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, and the father is this. To visit the fatherless and widows and their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world. Okay, well that's good. You know, that's basically going into, you know, what you learned. You gotta you gotta teach this, you know. You gotta teach it to the and, and, and whatever you learn. You gotta teach it to the uh others, you know. Because the, we still here, you know. We ain't saved yet. And we got to do this, you know, got to do this work. Whether you're on the highways and byways and then, whether you are uh, uh, doing doing these videos, you, had, you know, I speak to uh, everything I'm doing on, on this video is for me first and foremost, you know. This is very easy to forget. You know, when you fall back, you got to keep going. You got to keep going because this devil ain't playing, you know. It's not playing. You think he is? Okay. You get in trouble. Because you're going to lose your, your heads. Put your heart by sitting in the hollow side. You're playing games. You know, because you, you know, your hollow temptation is coming as well, you know. Revelation 13, 16, you know. I, Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh is his treasure. You know? And that's the bottom line. You have to fear Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh. Without that fear, you got nothing because you're not going to do nothing but stay in this in this world thinking nothing going to happen to you. But that judgment, you can see the judgment, you know. You can see it. And all the prophecies, is, they're coming to pass, fast, you know. They're coming, you know, I, I lost all track of time because, you know, I'm, I'm like, man, I, I had to, I think that yesterday or the day before yesterday, I thought to myself, man, they, this spring coming already? What happened to, what happened to winter, you know? I, I literally... Forgot the the ties, you know, what, you know the seasons, all right? Okay, this is the last script scripture. We're gonna go to uh, Second Esther, six and eighteen. Because this is where we at now. Second Ezra six and eighteen, and it, and, and, and it said, "Behold, the days come that will begin to draw nigh, and to visit them that dwell upon the earth, and I will begin to make inquisition of them, what they, what they be that have hurt unjustly, with their unrighteousness, and when the affliction of Sion shall be fulfilled." 
That's not a psyop, you know. And when the world that shall begin to vanish away shall be finished, then when I show these tokens, the books shall be opened before the firmament, and they shall see all together. All right? Listen, knowledge shall be stability of thy times, because we got a lot going on. You got to be prepared for it. You know, and at that time shall friends, this uh, 2 Ezra 6, 24, and at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies. And the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountains shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. All right? To jump down to Second Ezra 6 and 26. Now the men that I received came up with men. Verse 25. Whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation in the end of your world. Yeah, so in the Esau's world, his age. All right? And the men that I receive shall see it, and who have not tasted death from their birth, and the heart of the inhabitants shall be changed and turned unto another meaning. All right? So some will be changed. You know, in the twinkling of an eye. After, you know, they try to implement that, you know, karagma, when they implement that karagma, you know, Revelation 13, 16. You know, verse 28, as for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome, and the truth, which have been so long without fruit, shall be declared. So all that's coming. All of that is coming, you know. But we got we got a uh, few prophecies to get through, and they're gonna be terrible, horrible. But we're gonna be all right. We're gonna be all right. We're gonna, you know, we gotta go through it. Jacob's trouble, you know. We gotta go through all that, you know, But we're gonna be all right, you know. That's what that's what faith is for. That's what your Hawabah Shimmy Hawashai is doing for us, you know. The elect other elect of Israel. You know. The first fruits. You know, so we got to build ourselves up. The things are coming. And this devil's getting, he, he's showing his horns, but they're not out there a hell of a yet. And they, when they come, when, the, when his horns are totally out, people have no idea. But we do, because we've been studying and we've been supping with Yahweh and Yahweh through the camps, GMS camps, through the like minded uh, uh, teachers, you know, that's teaching the same doctrine, you know, the correct doctrine concerning the MOTB, you know. So uh stay prayed up and diligent and do what we're supposed to do. Speaking of me first and foremost. Okay. And uh with that. Again, the water of Yahweh by some Yahweh Sabah Shem Kakwadash. Again, our praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Kakwadash. Again, double honors to the apostles and others of Great Millstone, whom I'm learning the truth from and constantly learning. And everybody is seeing these, these prophecies, you know.
And everybody wants to claim to fame, but the fame goes to Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Sah because he's using the prophets, the elders and prophets of Great Millstone as the oracles to teach us these prophecies, the breakdowns. Even the camp teachers, GMS camp teachers, they, 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 they're teaching you. You know, so everybody in, their, in, in, his, in his order, you know, the water. It's always, it always has to be an order, you know, in everything, you know. So, Faith, order, diligence, humbleness. Study. And just we just gotta keep doing the work. Cause we almost out of here. Alright, so with that. Again, I praise on the glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Sai, Bahashem, Akakbadas. Salawam.